Who's that supposed to be? His name is Joe Dalton. He's a prisoner and he's your exam subject. Make his dream come true and then you'll get your diploma. Yeah, well, I don't feel happy with him. Can I pick another one? No, enough chatting. Time to work. Oh. Oh, great. Wonderful start. Ooh, a pretty butterfly. Come back, little butterfly. I won't eat you. So there, it's obvious, right? Hmm? Say, Joe, you know what's for lunch today? I don't really get the elephant, Joe. <laughs> hey! Oh, huh? let me out! <laughs> don't you try and hurt this butterfly! Ooh, a fairy! A fairy? What do you think you're in, a cartoon? Joe Dalton, is that it? Like, I have to make your dream come true for my diploma and stuff. My dream come true? Ah, simple! See those walls, Tinkerbell? I want them to disappear. Okay, walls of brickus disappear it. Uh, wait, I got it. Walls of brickus disappear it. Oh! I don't believe it! She did it. Of course, I'm a fairy. Come on, guys, we're out of this prison! I always did have trouble with that particular formula, but don't worry, I know loads of others, too. She gets on my nerves. I'm counting to three, and that's it. Um, like, what was the one to make you invisible? One! Or the one that... the, the one that... Two! I know! The formula that stops time! Everything freezes except for the one who says it! Ah, that's better! See when you feel like it? Repeat after me. One miggle wiggle woe, two tilly tally toes, three stop when I say uh, so. Can you say that again one more time? One miggle wiggle woe, two tilly tally toes, three stop when I say so. One miggle fickle toe, uh, two tittle tattle something. Ah, oh, why does it have to be so stupid? Little butterflies are so fragile. Don't worry, Rinton Dum's here to protect you. One miggle wiggle two tilly tally toes, three stop when I say so. It worked! <laughs> Free at last! <laughs> Let's go! And I've got my fairy diploma at last! Oh, like, don't thank me or anything. Why am I all alone? Again, only the one who says the formula is free. You should get them. Hey! How nice of you to come back, Joe. We didn't even notice you were gone. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want, little butterfly, but don't come to me if you end up getting hurt. Hmm? Sure, I don't mind escaping alone, but not without my brothers. Of course the effect only lasts for a short time, and no, I can't give you another formula. I wasn't even supposed to use two. Mosquito paste. Wait, if your brothers are touching you when you say the formula, they don't freeze. And we can put obstacles around the guards to stop them from coming after us. We'll do even better than that. Mm -hmm. One miggle wiggle, two tilly tally toes, three stop when I say so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. are escaping! What? We're free! No, you're not. I don't know how, but we got outside without meaning to.
Avril, you're such a ninny. I told you to put them out of the way, not outside. You are so inept. I don't know, just lock them all up together. Ah, now that's an idea. Attention, attention! The Daltons have escaped! Oh, oh, what's, what's going, going on? on here? Mom. One miggle wiggle, two tilly tally toes, three stop when I say so. Okay, let's go. What was I supposed to do to the door again, Joe? Lock it, you ninny! Oh! The Daltons? Stop them! Let's run! What are you waiting for? Help us! Yeah, well, that is really taking advantage. <sighs> yeah! See that beautiful blue, Joe? One miggle wiggle, two tilly tally toes. No! Watch out! If you say it one more time. Three, stop when I say so. <laughs> You'll make time shift backwards. Ooh, a pretty butterfly. Mm. I don't really get the elephant, Joe. Welcome to your new school and to kindergarten class. I don't care. I'm escaping. Magic bean stalk and escape in Fairyland. Great. Start by finding the magic bean and then we'll see. And he's off. I don't believe A it. A magic bean, please. The kind that reaches the sky. For every bean you buy, Fabulous Falcon gives you another one free. Don't bother wrapping them. We're on our way right now. You're beginning to really annoy me with your fairy tale nonsense. Uh. <laughs> well, about time. I've been in this land post for so long. Genius! There aren't any dragons here, right? Of course not! Not in Jack and the Beanstalk! But there's a hand that lays golden eggs and... Gold eggs? Well, yeah, and little Jack stole it and took it home to his mama who was poor. I'd say we're headed for a jackpot and that life is a true fairy tale. But we have to watch out for the hen's owner. You see, we oh. all... In the pond. The mud will cover our scent. Follow him. Volunteers to retrieve the Daltons one step forward. Show some bravery, boys. Brinton Dumb will be there with you. Uh, I hear there's an ogre up there. Mm -hmm. What nonsense! You believe in that silliness at your age? Well then, let chance choose you. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a guardian by his toe. <laughs> I just love fun face. Yeah, this big wheel is awfully high up. Yeah, <laughs> while the big guy snoozes, we grab the bean. Easy as pie. Bird 
birdie! Huh? Birdie, birdie! Ah! Shh! Be quiet, you ninny! Are you trying to wake up the ogre? Relax, Joe. Fairy tales always have happy endings for the good guys. Birdie! We are not good guys, you big ninny! Mm -hmm. <laughs> See? I knew there was an ogre! I'm so hungry I could eat a wolf. How do we recognize the hen? Easy! Whenever you say lay, she lays a solid gold egg. Oh. The hen! I found the hen! Lay, lay, <laughs> lay! Yay, a rubber duck game! I love this. Nintendo! Be quiet! You're going to wake up the... Ogre? <laughs> but I'm telling you, there's a happy ending! Well, now that lays the cake. Not the good guys you think will get eaten, Joe. Huh? Let me handle this. We aren't the bad guys. They are. Huh? Jack came with his brother to steal your hand. But, but we're not stealing his bird. Ah! <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Well, enjoy your meal. Let's go. But wait! Eating people is even worse! Isn't that so, Jack? Uh, Jack? Did I hear Jack? fairy tales, but let's be on the safe side. We didn't even bring back one egg! Don't worry, Joe, we're going back! No! Not in here! <laughs> You'll see, garden is a perfect way to unwind. Come along, don't be shy. Everyone come get a little shovel and seeds. Each of us will dig a little hole over here by the wall where we plant an acacia tree seed. Now, don't try and use this as a way to escape, you Dalton. <laughs> of course. Spade, hole, what's that mean, guys? Escape, boys. We keep the spades and we dig a hole for ourselves. A teapot! Hey, you berry stuff like I do! <laughs> what small holes, they amateurs! Right! We can't dig the tunnel here because of the Indian village. That we lease the deadly river, and this to the endless desert. The only way out is here! We'll just need a 500 meter long tunnel. 500 meters? With this? That'll take months. So you've got other plans for the summer, you ninny? <laughs> hey, a weird thing just came out of my teapot. I'm not a weird thingy. I'm a genie. 
Oh, yeah? If you're a genius, what are you doing in jail? <laughs> I said a genie who grants wishes. Three per person, to be precise. That's four of you, so that's 12 wishes. I want a salami sandwich. Granted. Oh. Uh -huh. A pickle would be nice. Granted. Hang on. If I understand, this weird thingy can make us a tunnel in one second without a spade. Stop these stupid wishes. Actually, I really like pickles, so I'd rather... Ah! Uh, 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 hmm. You're lucky. I can visualize your thoughts. Uh, you want to move? <laughs> Granted. Here you go. No. Listen here, buddy. We want a tunnel from here to there. Granted. <laughs> Uh -huh. mm. No! What we want is a real tunnel that starts in a cell here, 500 meters long, straight south! Granted! <laughs> yeah! Oh, see, the tunnel's for us. We need to fit inside. Granted! <laughs> well, what? Now you guys fit. <laughs> Let's take this thing. We've still got wishes left. Hey, you could have rubbed before entering. Get out of here. You want us out? Well, grant our wishes. Instead of wasting wishes on stupid tunnels, you could have just asked to escape. Guys, I have a genius idea. What we want is to escape in normal size. Now you're getting it. Granted. <laughs> We are free! We're outside! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you've had your laugh. Now get us away from here, far from here! And how far? Thousand miles, that way, with a smooth landing. No funny business! Granted! I said smooth! You said smooth landing. You didn't say smooth takeoff. <laughs> Fasten your seat belts. We're in for a little turbulence. From here, but somewhere peaceful, okay? No need to shout. Granted. Oh. 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 We're free! Uh, anyone know how to swim? <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> you can read my thoughts, right? Make my dream come true. I want whatever is best for a Dalton. see Peabody's face right now. And your last wish granted. Sometimes.
Sometimes I wish that just once you would actually escape for good. for a full-time job as a guardian angel, Lamplight, not for a vacation. In one month, you took 27 days off. Well, yeah, my alarm clock was broken. I have to take disciplinary measures. From now on, I appoint you as the official guardian angel to Avril Dalton. No! <laughs> Suction cups always pop you up to freedom. Hello, Dalton. Feel that like blockhead? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> That's bizarre. Smells like chicken. <laughs> Rent and done. Watch him. <laughs> Why do I always get in trouble and you never seem to? That's because I have a guardian angel, Joe. For sure, you've got a guardian angel and I have webbed feet. Well, hey, it's true. I am going to <laughs> hammer you. So if you have a guardian angel, you won't feel it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't you guys ever sleep? I'm not working all night long just to protect this big ninny. Who are you? Lenny Lamplight, certified guardian angel assigned to the protection of Avril Dalton. In fact, dogs chase chickens. I get a little scorch from that chicken. How did you do that? Well, he has powers, Joe, like all guardian angels. Yeah, well, that depends on your grade. Me, for example. I can be invisible, I'm immortal, and I can wiggle my ears. <laughs> and you can go through walls too, right? Well, no, I'm afraid I failed that course. But doors, I can. <laughs> Lenny, is that it? How about you go and get the director's keys with your powers? That's not regulation. You want me to get fired or what? Okay, I've got a deal for you. I protect Abro for one day, that way you relax, and in exchange, you give us your powers for one day. Regulation, right? Okay, but just you. I can't do all four. That would be obvious. <laughs> That's for your own good. And now, good night. Okay. Avril, let's go. Oh, Avril. Ah, where is he going now, that ninny? Open up! Where is Avril? He's breaking stones. Leave that. I'll do it. You could hurt yourself. You okay, Joe? Super. I could swear there's a chicken around here for sure. Yeah. Hey, Feather Duster! Hey, Lenny! <sighs> yeah, what? Okay, mission accomplished. Hand over the powers. Slow down, what's the rush? Okay, what's the formula again? And uh, break it that. Oh, I know, I get it. Zig wig wee, riggy plum plum, poop poop and trella la. There! Is that it? Wow, you're shining, Joe! <laughs> <laughs> hey, did I tell you? I skipped the walk through walls class. I have a suspicion that I've been bamboozled. Well, you can fly. That's cool. Hey, look, Peabody has installed new lighting. Huh? Huh? 
Joe, Joe Dalton? Dalton? They can see me? I'm not here. It's not me. But, but how, how did, did he, he do, do that? that? He's too now. It's a brood. Riff, 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 riff. Yeah. Ah! Riff, riff. <laughs> it is kind of practical. Okay, I can control my powers. I'll get the key, come back, and we take off. Since you know how to fly, we reckon it's easier if you carry us. Mm. Yeah, but then you'll crash, and guess who'll take all the blame then? Ah. <laughs> you should really watch out. You're overweight. Maybe, but we are free. <laughs> <laughs> It's no fun being an angel. We're finally done it, Joe. We can finally live life like we used to. Yeah. Pull up banks, rob old ladies, attack stagecoaches. <laughs> but that is wicked. Mm -hmm. We have to do good things in life. So we're going back to the prison to serve our sentence. What's, What's happened, happened to, to Joe? Joe? He has become good. One of the possible side effects. Doesn't affect me much, but with him, it's pretty acute. I do not want to escape. I want to help my fellow convicts. <laughs> my friends, I love you. Long live love and good deeds. Hey, look here. A pretty little house on the prairie's waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did pretty good there, right, boss? I watched over Averill really well. Not bad. To compensate that, I'm giving you a cozy little mission. I name you the official guardian angel too, Joe Dalton. Ah, poos! Now repeat after me. Ba poos! Ah, poos! Ba poos! Well, it's a whipped cream cannon. How long is this class gonna last? Yeah, everyone's bored stiff. Oh, fine then. Agawa, Bulga, Tagada, Tagada, Pom Pom. Well, yeah, that sure wakes us all up. <laughs> How much do you want for a fistful of that sand? Ten dollars for a hundred grams. Well, here. <laughs> Sandman's coming round here soon. That whipped cream was mm -hmm. kind of heavy. Curfew, boys. Not a night. Follow me. With this magic sand, we're going to create the same storm right here. <laughs> that door won't be able to hold. Come on, what did he say again? He tossed <laughs> the sand into the air and said, Agawa, bonga, tagada, tagada, boom, boom. No, it was pom, pom. He said, boom, boom. Pom, pom. You can try pom, boom. Agawa, bonga, tagada, tagada, pom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been Pom Pom. Mm -hmm. Hey, you Dalton boys, what are you doing out here? Oh, nothing. Just admiring the moonlight. Well, then, good night. We're heading back to our cell. With this new power of ours, we can escape real easy just by slipping under doors. Demonstration. And then I pull myself back into shape just like that. <laughs> Isn't life just great? Over to you. It's weird being made of sand. Wonder if Ma will recognize us. She'll think we've been to the beach. But of course, we're in present so like the beach. Well, it's not right next door. Will you just shut up, Avro? Woo! Kit litter walking all by itself. <laughs> Occupied. Mm -hmm. Come on, get moving! <laughs> Get me out, you bunch of ninnies! Mm -hmm. oh. Again? What's gotten into you, <laughs> boys? 
Where was Joe? Right here! <laughs> That's wild. When you fell into that pile of sand, you tripled in yes. size. And before we leave, I'm having some fun. Joe was always kind of <laughs> scratchy, like sandpaper. Come on, <laughs> jump into that pile of sand and follow me. Oop. I get it. It's a sandcastle contest, and whipped cream is the winner's prize. Come on. Mr. Peabody! No <laughs> mama, a monster! Made of sister of sand! But what is all this nonsensism? Huh? <laughs> Adult! <laughs> <laughs> That sand castle is really impressive, but it's also kind of scary. Mr. Peabody, sir, I'm sure this is some of Fabulous Falcon's magic. I'll go get him. In the meantime, seal everything. Make sure that not even a single grain of sand can pass through. I'm staying put here! Well, that's not all. And now we're on our way! That's cement, Joe. They sealed off all the exits. Not even the tiniest grain of sand can get through. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have to go out the top. <laughs> we're going to have to get tough. Well then, Daltons, it's time for me to get really busy. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's hit it hard! <laughs> oh, open up! It's Miss Betty! Mr. Falcon's with me! <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just cleaning up the penitentiary. <laughs> I like things spick and span, not spick and sand. <laughs> Miss Betty? Get us out of here! Those sand castles are really something. Impossible to know who the winner is, but what I can say is, whipped cream is for everyone. Over to you, Mr. Falcon. Agawa bunga, tagada, tagada, pom pom. You can unmold them now. <laughs> <laughs> We almost made it! To see the world in a grain of sand. Is your scalp dry and flaky? This miracle shampoo is what you need. A brilliant invention by yours truly. This motion restores hair growth. Wow, check out the egg. I love hunting Easter eggs. Demonstration. That is unbelievable! No, that's a toupee. I'm gonna prove it! Well, no! See, that's his real hair! Two dollars a bottle, eight dollars for two. Step right up, everything's got to go. I want 12 liters! <laughs> this shampoo right here is our passport to freedom! Picture this. I have super long and strong hair. We use it to climb over the wall and we're gone. <laughs> That's a hair-raising scheme. Avril, shampoo my hair. Sir, do you mind stepping this way? Huh? I'm afraid Mr. Falcon took advantage of our gullibility, Mr. Peabody. What a scandalism. I'm getting that charlatan back tomorrow. 
You spent all that money for nothing, Joe. Ah! I'm gonna jam that shampoo down Falcon's throat! What? We're written in here! Mm -hmm. To be effective, the miracle shampoo must be combined with secret ingredients that the manufacturer refuses to reveal. That's totally dishonest! No, totally businesslike. I say we find those secret ingredients. Well, engines are nature lovers, so I'll bet the ingredients are natural. <laughs> so I wanted to have long hair. All great men have long hair. Hercules, Jesus, hot hair. Not all of them. Look at Buddha. His head was as smooth as an apricot. The cook guaranteed that all this is 100% natural, and it was supplied by the Indians. Yep. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. I'd say we overdid the carrots. I've had it up to here with vegetables. Wait, Joe, we didn't try adding red hot chili to that. Oh, oh. Come on, Joe, being bald doesn't mean you can't smile. <laughs> bald as a coot, and I'm supposed to smile? Maybe our ingredients weren't Indian enough. Oh, sure, why not buffalo hair and feathers while you're at it, huh? But that's it, follow me. An Easter egg running away. That one was hard boiled. Now for the buffalo hair. I know where we can find it. Hmm. But that suits you marvelously. It looks real. Yes, it gives me quite a dynamic look. <laughs> Let's see how our public reacts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I know it'll work! Yeah! Now we can escape! me by the hair and throw me over the wall. Mm. Go! <laughs> A little higher would be better. But what is that? Joe, is that you? Yes, it is me. Climb up! Hurry! Oh, attention! Dalton's are escaping! Yeah, yes, but that hair is so blind. We are free! I'm contacting the county sheriff right now. Description, small stature, and divine long hair. <laughs> that sure was a smart escape plan, Joe. How did you dream that up? It's because I'm worth it. Huh? Oh, no! What are you doing, Joe? Does it look like I'm knitting a pullover, you ninny? It's static electricity. Your hair has gone electric. Don't worry, Joe. We'll get you down in a jiffy. You ninny! 
<laughs> now, Joe, I'd say you missed escaping by a hair's breadth. <laughs> Are we through with these stupid hair jokes? It's over because you're worth it, Joe. Fascinating! It's so kind of you to let us visit your village, Crazy Wolf. You mean so boring? What I'd like to visit is a bank. Buffalo. Then his spirit has flown away into a buffalo's body. Yeah, talk about a tourist trap. Hey, come on, let's sneak out of here. <laughs> Joe Dalton must not laugh at our ancestral magic. Oh my yeah, my yave, fabulous mountain. Hey, that was awesome. Can you do it again? Do it on me. Come on, on me. You mean all of that was real? <laughs> Listen to me. I know how we can get out of here. We sing that stupid song. Oh we shift into a buffalo's body, smash down the main door, then we get back into our bodies and escape. Get it? It isn't complicated. Hey, Joe, guess what's on the canteen menu today? Do? Sounds like a lullaby my mommy sang. No, the chicken. It's a rabbit. Ta da! It worked! Huh? What? What are we doing in rabbit bodies? Just because you're obsessed with Dude. food? Okay, we start over again and everyone say Buffalo! Was it more like Umbaya Mayave, Joe? No, no, it rhymed. It was Umbaya Mayava. Uh, yeah, maybe it was Umba. Well, I don't know. Shut what? up! Let me do this. Umba. Umbayo. Oh, fooey, what was it? Hmm? Coyotes? What do they want with us? <laughs> Don't you find that they're somewhat, uh, different? This is another one of their silly escape strategies. We must keep an eye on them. Yes, all the same. It's as if they think that they're rabbits. <laughs> hey, they, they got a new god dog? He looks really stupid. Hey, you over there. This is my penitentiary. My dear, these are days when one can't even attempt to understand. That's okay, Joe. We got rid of him. Okay, we have to remember those words. What were they? Matave Umbraye. An eagle? What does it want with that? We can't go on like this. Um, umbayo. Ah, no way I can remember it. No. No. Huh? No. No. We've got to go to the Indian village. We need to see if those featherheads will tell us the words of the chant. Yeah! I can fly! I always knew dogs could fly! Oh, oh Dalton! Look at what Auntie Betty brought for you! What a strange occurrence. <laughs> Now, where is Fabulous Falcon? Umbaye, my yave. Umbaye, my yave. Umbaye, my yave. Kayuni! That's it! We've got the words. Let's get out of here. Dalton, is that you? You have no right to our secret incantations. Let's go! <laughs> We'll take care of him in a jiffy. Umbaye, mayave, umbaye, mayave, bear! <laughs> so 
Who is the smart guy now? <laughs> okay, let's go. Boom ba ye ba ya ve buffalo! Oh, oh. We did it, Joe! We got it right! But how come your buffalo's small? Who cares, Avril? We smashed down the prison gates and we caused mayhem in the penitentiary! <laughs> come on, keep quiet, Critters, or you get a taste of my whip. Say, Joe, what's that buzz we're going to? Inside a cage. Okay, what in the world is going on now? Oh, here you are, little Daltons. A delicious plate of carrots. Huh? One cannot attempt to understand, Miss Betty. Isn't that all, Joe? It's like they think we're rabbits. Dinner time! No, thanks. I just had supper. Oomba yay, my yabe. la la, what a silly dog. What am I doing? Fortunately, I do know how to fly. <laughs> Peabody, get us out of here right this minute! Very well, sir. I'll go through these files and oops! Just tell him to move, my dear. <laughs> get moving, go on! Oh no, you want cuddles? Why can't I ever get some sleep? Authoritism and courage, hmm? That is why you aren't the boss. <laughs> what is it? A potion to protect little children. Now, a walnut for flavor. <laughs> mm, that's a nutty potion. I'll sleep it off. Huh? Right in buckets? <laughs> what? That dog has gone mad! After him! I don't know what got into him, but I have a plan. To get over the wall, you just bounce off him at the right angle. Watch! Yeah! No! You need to dive on him. <laughs> no better. Off of my humble opinion, sir, I'd say that Rintin Dumb is locked inside a kind of energy bubble. Perhaps if we make him run, that'll reduce the energy. Perhaps, but I am the boss. Make him run. Hmm? <laughs> okay. Huh? The higher we jump from, the further off we bounce. Rintin Dum! Dinner time! <laughs> oh. Okay, we change strategy. Rintin Dumb! Rinting Dom! Rinting Dom! Rinting Dom! Rinting Dom! Dom! This is tiring. Next time, I'm having food delivered. Pete, see if the effect is wearing off. Negative. Hmm. We'll use him as a ramrod to force the gates open. Rinten Dom, your bone! Oh, there you are! Well, hey, 
Hey, Joe, you're like renting dumb now. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be easy. Mr. Peabody! <laughs> We're on our way out, and if you try anything to stop us, boom! <laughs> An after-lunch walk before nap time? Good idea. What if we captured one of his brothers? Joe would never leave a brother behind. Stop speaking in my place. Go after a Dalton. A true boss knows delegation. <laughs> hey, Avril. <laughs> All you need to do to get over the wall is get inside the bubble. Well, then, what do we do now, balls? Oh, I annoyed you earlier, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Allow me to present my apology. You'll take care of it, then? As usual. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Hold on to each other! Hop! 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 Better not leave that walnut hanging around. Hop. It's full of potions. Hop! Hop! Rinton Dom! No, thank you. I just ate. Why not? <laughs> We must suck air out of the ball. I'll lead the Daltons to you. Hey, look, Miss Betty. Hey, are you crazy? If you don't mind, we need to retrieve something. A pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, this is specially for Indians. Ugh. Don't think that I lack courageism. I do use strategy. You prove to be very courageous by apologizing. Don't be sad, Joe. That's the way the ball bounces. That's a bit severe, isn't it? Severe but fair. I'm fed up with the damage they do to the walls. They're going to shift this by hand right over there and make up for the mistakeism. You're deprived of canteen until it's done. Oh, well, no, that's double punishment. Oh. <laughs> well, fabulous Falcon, ready for a game of poker? <laughs> <laughs> Did I expect to be fleeced by an Indian? <laughs> hey, fabulous hmm? Falcon. Hmm? Got any shoe magic to help us escape? Mm, could be. I'm in a playful mood tonight. Uh... Oh, mighty shifting spirit. May the great shift begin. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> hey, fabulous Falcon, play a game? Ah, oh, another four ace flush. 
Oh, that's the fourth one in a row. Now Fabulous Falcon has nothing to bet. Oh, sure, you've got something that interests me. Your stone-shifting thingy. I'll see you. Oh, you have the look of a man who finds a four-leaf clover in a desert. Let me show you my new plan. Okay, Fabulous Falcon forgot to give me the instruction book, so we better practice first. We need a volunteer. Avril! Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> oh, shifting spirit, may the great shift begin. Go on, come on, do it! That's cause you don't say it right. It's, oh, mighty shifting spirit, may the great shift begin. Okay. <laughs> hmm? Ha! How's it working? <laughs> like that, at ton le Hey, not bad. Let's see if we can go further. <laughs> oh, mighty shifting spirit! May the great shift begin! Crazy! What's this, a game? Is it hide and seek? I love hide and seek! Too far left! Bang in the wall again! Found ya! My turn to hide! <laughs> he found me! Too cool! Your turn to hide! I'll tell it! One, two! I told you before, not in the pod, Avril! <laughs> Okay, I get it. Avril reappears here. <sighs> How about someone else please volunteer? <sighs> huh? A trick deck. He cheated. Fabulous Falcon was swindled like a little papoose. Hold tight. Huddle together like one person. Oh, mighty shifting spirit! May the great shift begin! <laughs> Further left! Think it's easy with floppy fingers? <laughs> We're all floppy, Joe! <laughs> You'll never find him. Endless, so it's my turn now. Let's try over there. Oh, what's he up to now? It works! It <laughs> works! No, it doesn't work. <laughs> Fabulous Falcon, how nice to see you! You cheated! That was a trick deck! Give me back my money and my box! Oh, look! Mighty shifting spirit, may the great shift begin! Ha! Catch us if you can! I can! Well, this is real hide and seek, and I'm a hide and seek expert! Okay, time to brush our teeth and into bed. I think it's real late. Cheater! Uh -huh. <laughs> See how he almost knocked into <laughs> Mighty Shifting Spirit made the great shift begin! <laughs> oh. My box! He broke my box! See you later, cheater. <laughs> no! Fabulous Falcon, come back! There was a misunderstanding! Take your arm off, Joe! Shut up, Avril! Fabulous Falcon! Yeah. 
<laughs> so where's the surprise? Normally, when it's your birthday, you get a big cake and fireworks. I was planning to blow it up right with firecrackers, and that way we'd all escape. Well, yeah. Happy birthday, Joe. Did you say cake? He's a legendary oh. bandit, a fascinated man of mystery, and a paralleled <laughs> master of escape, and so very handsome. Ah, here it is, finally. Welcome, Mr. Dollar. Or should I say, Mr. Walk Through Walls? Thank you, my good man. Oh, huh? How do you manage to escape every time without anyone noticing the slide? <laughs> it's so extraordinary. That is my secret. <laughs> we have to find out a secret, and we can escape too. Ahem. <laughs> 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 We have prepared a VIP cell for you, if you don't mind. Oh, oh we'll show him to a cell, Mr. Peabody. It's on the way to ours. Do him a favor, sir. It's Joe's birthday. Oh, today is Joe's birthday? Ha-ha! <laughs> Not so clever now, are you? It's impossible to escape from this cell. Nobody can. Done it. Oh, uh, where'd he go? Remember this. No wall can stop Emil Dollar. We stick close to him, got it? Hmm? Will you get off my well, back? Well, no, cause we're fans! Huh? huh? <laughs> Uh. He just walked through a solid wall. Huh? That blue rock, that's his gadget. We'll steal it. <laughs> uh. 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 Avril, get that thing out of his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> this way he won't expect a thing, and he'll keel right over. Excellent idea, Miss Betty. The word is discretionism. Since there's one stone and there's four of us, we have to throw it through the wall, got it? Just watch. Here I go. Uh, right, it only works on stone walls. <laughs> Next! Go fix, Stone! I love that game! Mm -hmm. hey. huh? Shh! Give me! My turn! My turn! My turn! <laughs> Give the stone to William! <laughs> What are you doing? Hmm. Oh, so you want to see what Joe's birthday surprise is, right? Get out now! Don't let Joe see the cake! Where's my stone? Uh, 
Will he? Aha! Not so snooty now without your stone, it's huh? It's my stone, not yours. Who cares? Guys, if we hold each other's hands, we can all get through together. It'd work with a dog. Huh? huh? Give me the stone! Happy birthday, Jojo! All this for me? Um, a half-baked idea of an escape, I dare say. <laughs> <laughs> He's escaping right now, look! <laughs> well, Joe, given this very special occasion, you have the right to a proper rest. No breaking stones today, and we'll get you free. From that wall, of course. <laughs> Make it faster. Think we got all week to do this? Hey, Joe, if you help, we'll get it done faster. There are two people in life. Those who think and those who dig. I'm a thinker. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful trumpet. That was worth digging for. <gasps> yeah, stop that right now, you great big ninny. Are you trying to wake up the entire prison? Well, gee, what's the point of finding a trumpet if I can't play it? Ah. <gasps> <laughs> How about that, Avril? Blow that horn again, just to see. <laughs> Here's a plan. I love looking at the moon on the full star night. Ah, that feels better. Hey, Daltons, this is no time for a walk. Huh? Oh, we're going to play you a little lullaby. Go on, Avril. <gasps> I did that when I... <laughs> huh? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Those bandits will pay for this. It's all my fault. I gotta control myself. With this trumpet, we're gonna clean out every bank in the West. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Avril. <gasps> <laughs> what is that music? We're going to be rich, Joe! <laughs> now what have you done, Avril? Get us out of here right now! <laughs> Play those four notes, you big ninny! Come on, playing that thing is easy. Hand it over. See, Joe, you have to feel the music. Your instrument has to be part of you. Ah! You feel the music now, huh? There they are. Let's get going. I can't believe it. They held up a bank with a horn. There were four of them. A child and three adults. They went that away. So, well, I need to find somewhere private fast, but no walls. It's the Daltons. They can't get far this time. Once we get them, we'll have every last one of our inmates. Well, it looks like Rated Dom's after a scent. Follow him. The Dalton brothers strike again. No weapons, no false notes. Read all about it. Same old song, a Dalton Holder. 
interview with Avril Dalton. I always play for my fans. <laughs> a good day's work, boys. Let's split the loot. This is for me, because I'm the one with the plan. This is for you. Hmm. I can't wait anymore. So if this rock collapses, that's not so bad. <laughs> See that, Joe? Rent and Dumb lies in so much a game looking for us. Rent and Dumb? <laughs> Dalton, it was easy to find you with the trail of damage you left behind. Hey, uh, I can't do it when I'm being watched. <laughs> Back to the prison now, boys. But there's no prison now. <laughs> <laughs> After them right now. <laughs> Stop! Here's the perfect place to ambush them. Avril, play us a little four-note concerto. <gasps> I can't hold it. Uh, uh, it's happening again. Like they like dancing. Blow your horn, Avril. <gasps> no, not that. Yeah. A miracle. No, it's making the walls grow back. <gasps> Stop that right this minute, Avril. See this, Joe? This looks just like our penitentiary. Thank you, oh. Daltons. I didn't expect that. This time, I'm going to show him for guy. <laughs> you have to expect a few clinkers with Avril. <laughs> I have achieved it at last, my absolute masterpiece. <laughs> In the name of the law, I arrest you for vandalizing national monuments. Achoo! Grunkikea, alias Super Screwdriver, do-it-yourself genius engineer researcher, takes anything and everything apart without ever putting anything together. Achoo! I heard that this guy can take anything apart in five seconds. It's like he has a superpower. Well, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Hey, buddy, they say you can take anything apart faster than your shadow. Well, I bet you can't take this wagon apart. Ha-ha! <laughs> I knew it! You're a phony! But you're crazy! You know how much that costs damaging equipment? Three days isolation. Putting things together is not my thing. In fact, it's a real problem for me. <laughs> Say, how about sitting with me in the canteen? What? You, me, you mean the two of us? Well, okay, but not too close, right? Hey, Joe, looks like you got yourself a new buddy. <laughs> We'd make a great team, the two of us. I'd take stuff apart and you put it back together. No! We could make a great team, the no. two of us. No! I'd take stuff apart and no. you... No! You put stuff... No! Uh, I mean, yeah. Like a penitentiary door, you can do that? Well, okay, I take the door apart, but in exchange, I escape with you, and you come to my place and help me put something back together, okay? Deal. Guys, let me introduce Grun. Grun, my brothers. <laughs> a 
Over to you, Grunt. Consider it done, my pal, Joe. <laughs> That's nothing. Anyone can make a mistake. Just try again. <laughs> Super screwdriver! <laughs> Super nitty, you mean! <laughs> 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 We'll be back together before Joe turns you to pieces. Oh, well, thanks, Joe. I thought I'd turn into a puzzle. You're so nasty, you are. Don't you ever call me a ninny. <laughs> That's enough, you two. Listen up. I have a great idea. Thanks to his magic power, Grund is going to take us apart, and we'll be sent to buy several packages, and no one's the wiser. Once we're out, we reassemble ourselves, and we are free! <laughs> <laughs> Presents for the mommy? Those Dalton boys are so sweet. They're so unaccustomed to being sweet, it made them sick, poor lads. <laughs> <laughs> boss! Boss! <laughs> there was a trick! They're not sick, they just disappeared! Along with Groove. The packages! Quick, a wagon! But what? The packages? That's impossible! After them! You call that reassembled? Is it normal that my left foot is now my right? I'd like you to try it without instructions. We know you're there, Daltons. Turn yourselves in. That's true. When I get scared, I sneeze. I is that your machine there? Yeah, but you see, I had a problem putting it together. Okay, let's go. I won't touch a single ball in that thing. Come outside with your hands up! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Not so proud now, are you? And now, let's visit some banks! But Joe, that's not what it's for. My brother's the one who decides! <laughs> And when I'm scared, I... Uh, 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 I sneeze! He made us fall! That was his fault! No, it's his fault! He broke my tank! That is enough, the two of you! He started it! No! <laughs> Daltons, time to go home. Yeah, well, for once I agree. And I want to sell all to myself. I need a vacation. <laughs> but, but Joe, Joe what, what about, about me? me? Leave me alone, both of you. Looks like he's having a breakdown. I wonder who'll be the one who's gonna fix him. Bunch of idiots. 